how did finals week and all that go? And you guys feel like you're a couple of days now from a big rivalry game. You guys feel prepared and kind of the right mindset for this? Um, we haven't practiced in a couple days, so today was the first time out, and it was good and bad. Uh, it's always tough during finals because, you know, the, uh, the adrenaline lets down a little bit, you know, from, from being up, from studying and taking tests. And so we didn't have great energy today, but that's okay. You know, we did a lot of prep work knowing that we wouldn't have great energy. Uh, but I think we're going to be ready on Monday. They're going through the same thing. So I'm not one of those coaches that, and there are many out there that like to blame finals. I mean, we're playing other colleges, excuse me. We're playing other colleges, so they're either getting out of finals, they're in finals, or they're, you know, about to go to finals. So we're all in the same boat. We're all tired. See Kennedy starting to move around a little bit more again. Um, what's the what's the latest timeline for? Her? Uh, I I don't know. I think it. I don't think it's changed. So sometime in January, uh, uh, closer to the start of January than to the end of January. So a few weeks out. Is she able to do much of anything in practice or even individually? Or Kids had a great shooting day, and she passed a lot of balls. So she got a lot of assists today. Uh, that's about all she can do. Yeah, I know she's doing some stuff behind the scenes, in the pool and things like that. But not much out here at all. I think you guys have held up, though, with, with just one true center. I know, obviously. <laughs> I mean, seven games, basically, with, with just one. Yeah, knock on wood, you know, uh, Philly stays healthy, and uh, but she's she's been doing great. And uh, we got 30 minutes out of her in the Michigan State game, could have gotten probably more out of her in Portland. So if she can give us 30 minutes a game, then we're, we're going to be fine until Kennedy gets back. But it's still by committee and going small from time to time. What's, uh, Philly, uh, she seems, even in the little time we've had, to have improved quite a bit. You speak about that. I mean, even keep... Not putting the ball on the floor as much, little things like that, or other things you've noticed? Yeah, she's improving, you know, and she gets harped on all the time about putting the ball on the floor. Uh, she's hurting our rebounding, though, to be honest with you, because uh, we're not rebounding like we want to because she goes and gets every one. So now i got some players that aren't even going in there trying to get rebounds because they feel like she's getting them all, which I guess is a, is a good thing. But uh, I'm so proud of her. I think she's really improved, and defensively she's, she's coming. And it'll be quite a matchup with her and Mitrovic inside. Quicker out there, it's quicker. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's uh, she's been working on her feet, and and so she's uh, just moving better, and she's playing with some confidence, you know. So you talk about the matchup with Mitrovic. Obviously, one of the more experienced bigs that she'll go up against. Uh, do you think that the pace that they like to play at, and you, you guys usually play at when you play them, is a little bit advantageous in that? You know, a, 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 a more up-tempo game for a big with as an experience gap could be more problematic, more opportunities for fouls. Yeah, and that was loaded. There's a lot there. I think, number one, I have great respect for, for Mitrovic. She's, in fact, I've used her as an example to Philly. This is how you want to get your feet. You know, she's never really out of position defensively, and she makes you earn it up and over the top of her. Uh, Philly's still coming. You know, she's not as experienced um, as, as she is. Uh, but... But yeah, if we if they play us in a half court game, we're at a disadvantage because now they're they're putting Beers and uh, Mitrovic together a lot, and that's a formidable high low. We we can't match that. So if we can get them in an up and down game, I think that plays better for us. If it's a half court game and they're hard to get out of that tempo, they have the advantage. So either way, it'll be uh, you know it's going to be quite a chess match. See which style wins out. And what else was there? There was a lot no, in no, there. there, was a, there was okay, a, there was a lot in there. All right. I guess yeah. I was just going to ask you about Beers because she's really highly regarded player and has lived up to the hype, and maybe her and Grace, a couple of players, could be facing each other for years to come. Yeah, that's going to be quite a battle, those two, uh, for many years. Yeah, she's a good player. I mean, um, so strong. My goodness. Um, and when those two play together, it's a formidable high-low, as good as we're going to play all year long. But yeah, we've just got to keep her off the boards, uh, got to stay in front of her. I mean, if she gets any leverage at all or, or has an advantage, uh, you know, with her body, she's going to score. I mean, there's really no way we can keep her from doing that. So we just, uh, you know, it's going to take five, no, no question. That's a cliche, but we're really going to have to be in sync defensively. They're always a team who makes it hard on you guys from, from three specifically, and last year was, was no exception to that. What, what will be the key to 
imp- being better at three point sh- against them when they've just historically been a tough team. To shoot yeah, well y- yeah, you know, it's just I, I don't know what it is because you do get open looks. Uh, I think they do a great job of challenging shots in the paint. I mean, you know, obviously their centers aren't going to move outside that paint, but the guards do a good job and just kind of, you know, they, they guard you to the side and so you kind of know they're there. Um, but we've we just got to get good movement. I think we're a better shooting team than we've been in the last couple of years as well. So that that might help. But uh, you're gonna anytime you play the Beavers, man, you got to shoot shoot it well. Personnel wise, Kelly, what's the timeline for uh, Samantha Wagner to get here? Is that going to be more of a January thing, or is that by the end of the month? Or? Uh, yeah, I think she'll she'll come after Christmas. Oh, okay. um, yeah, and and just enroll kind of when we start classes she might be here a week before just to kind of get settled but she's been accepted into the university which is great and um, really looking forward to having her here it's going to be nice to, to have another body in practice and now that you guys are wrapped up with the term is there any potential for additions via the portal who could show up you know as soon as tomorrow theoretically speaking no no we're we're not actively pursuing anybody in the portal right now so um, I haven't even seen it. I don't even know who's out there. I, I understand there's some people entering, but uh, no, I, I really like what we've got. I think we've got everything that we need. Now we just got to keep getting better and, and pray for good health. I mean, we just don't have a, there's not a lot of mar- margin for error there. There was a lot made of that Vegas tournament, and there's going to be another one next week, and several of the, pa- the all the Power Five teams pulled out. What's your understanding of the status of this San Diego trip? I, I talked to the coaches, the other coaches in the uh, in the tournament with us, Arkansas, Ohio State, South Florida. Uh, I think we're all a go right now. Uh, from what I understand, the, the venue is is solid. It's good. I think it's going to be better than what I – mean, it's an actual gym. So I think it will be better than, um, than what the teams in Vegas have experienced. So I don't anticipate there's going to be any changes unless, you know, they, they decide from here on out. We'll, we'll see. But I'm looking forward to the to the tournament. And from what I understand, I think we're good to go. There's a different point person that's heading our tournament as well. So that uh, there's been change at the top in, in terms of our tournament. Is it even possible to have a contingency? Because you need games. Is it even possible to have a contingency plan if something weird happens with that to fill? Uh, yeah, actually, the South Florida coach said he'd come up here, you know. I so he's already playing on a West Coast trip. Yeah. He's already out here, so why not? You know, I, I don't know if they're a Nike school. That's always a, a plus, you know, maybe get them onto campus in, in Beaverton and maybe even into the employee store. Not the athletes, but the uh, the coaches. And we'll, we'll, you know, we'll gladly host. But I, I, I don't anticipate that's going to happen.